Good day guys and welcome back to 72T. Hope you're all having a great day and in today's video we're going to be talking about Fetch TV has finally unblocked 4G. So basically if you've been a Fetch TV member a while and you've ever tried to connect your Fetch box to either a 4G modem or now this is normally with Optus okay what we're going to be talking about pretty much with Optus. If you've ever tried to connect a 4G modem to your Fetch box or done a hotspot on your phone through Optus it never works. All you get is a black screen, or in some cases, they'll put a bit of writing on the screen and they'll say, please turn off the 4G connection. But they finally stopped that, thank God, because it was so annoying how they dictated you could only use MBN on, on um, Fetch TV, which is super annoying. I did not like how they dictated you could only use MBN. But from last Friday, they have unblocked 4G, which is great. So if you've got a Optus 4G modem, you can now watch Fetch TV now again. Um, depending on how much data you've got on your Optus modem. If you've got 500 gig of data, you should be pretty good, but if you're using Fetch TV quite a lot, um, keep in mind it can use up to a gig per hour Fetch TV, so keep that in mind. Um, that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. And this is the really thing when we go back when 4G was blocked. It wasn't blocked on Telstra and Vodafone because I did both hotspots on that. Basically, with the Optus modem I had, the Huawei, it was an unlocked modem. So I put a Vodafone SIM and a Telstra SIM. Bam, let me in. No problem at all. Didn't say turn 4G off at all. So I think with the blockage of 4G, it was more of a Fetch TV and Optus thing. And I think it was because they wanted everyone that joined Fetch TV on Optus to be on MBN, MBN Optus. They do like a little scheme like that, and I think that's what they've done. But now, what they're trying to do, they're offering quite a lot. They're trying to, Optus is trying to offer 5G, 4G, they're doing good deals on 4G now. And the fact that that, that um, Optus is no longer supporting Foxtel, so you can't even get Foxtel through um, Optus anymore. So Foxtel is gone through, through Optus. So this is probably why, because they've just wiped Foxtel, they're probably now gonna unlock the 4G so they can get more people on the wireless broadband, so if you want to join Optus Wireless Broadband or Optus 5G Wireless Broadband, you can now do that and watch Fetch TV and add it um, for about 10 bucks a month with your um, Fetch TV. Now another great thing with 5G, now this is going a bit off topic, if you have 5G and you're in the actual area to get it, Fetch TV can be an add-on if you get the max um, plan because it comes, you get one month free and unlimited data. You can get um, Fetch TV included with that as well, so keep that in mind. Normally when you get Fetch TV added on if you're just with um, wireless broadband, you normally need a phone. So just say you got an iPhone or something through um, Optus, you normally get your Fetch TV added on by that, which is 10 bucks a month, and then you can now you can use it on your Optus 4G modem, which is finally great they have unlocked that. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. But it's weird how Fetch TV hasn't announced anything about unlocking 4G. There's no news at all about it. It's just now when you use 4G and now works. So it doesn't make sense. It's like a little tweak they did in their software to unlock the um, 4G, Optus 4G actually, because um, there's no news at all. No announcement, no nothing about them. I wouldn't even know if I just, <laughs> I just happened to connect to 4G last week and it was there. So, yeah, it's bizarre, nothing at all, no announcement, nothing. Um, so, that's one great thing, it is now unlocked. It's a little bit like when the first, well, third generation Telstra TV came out. See, when the third generation Telstra TV came out, this was a little bit of a scheme as well, what they did, is you could use the Telstra TV, you could buy it out, right? You could use it, you couldn't access live TV, okay? You couldn't watch it live TV, and you couldn't access the smart area unless you had Telstra broadband. Thankfully, two months later, Telstra decided that it was a really bad idea locking everything if you're not through Telstra, and now it's unlocked for everyone. So originally, you couldn't even watch free to wear through your antenna on the Telstra TV third generation. It was locked. But three, two months later, they actually unblocked it for all ISP providers. So yeah, it's similar, sort of similar what um, they're doing over at Fetch. Um, it's a bit unreleased, so I don't really know why they've unlocked 4G, but I'm assuming they're going to be offering more um, plans on Optus. They might even be giving you some plans, like if you get wireless broadband, you can get Fetch TV included, something like that. Not too sure, but it is now unlocked. 4G is 100% unlocked, and it's definitely working. And this is basically what I'm doing here, is a little test to see if 4G is 100% working. And as you see, it's doing a quick little scan to just see if all the services are available. And we'll just wait a few seconds for this to complete. 
and we'll see what it says. It says it can take up to 25 minutes. Let's hope it doesn't take that long. Considering the bar's nearly done, I'm hoping it's going to be done like in a few seconds. Okay, see how we've got ticks on everything? That is great. You, uh, um, a week, like two weeks ago or something, if you would have done this, it would have had an X on each one of those if you were connected to 4G. So yeah, it's great it's um, now unlocked. Don't really know why it's unlocked, no information at all. But I thought I'd let you guys know if you did want to connect your Fetch TV via 4G, it now can be connected via 4G, which is a great now thing that you can do. And that's basically everything that really needs to be said about 4G in today's video, especially with Fetch. Um, there's not really any other news on it. I just want to update you guys. You can now watch Fetch TV on 4G, so you can give that a shot. Um, let us know if you have any troubles, but it should definitely work. If it's working for me, it should definitely work for you as well. Alright guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.